<laughs> and we are back on this Tuesday morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. About 33 degrees out there. Going to be a cool day again today, much like it was yesterday, minus the rain. High temperatures around 47, partly cloudy skies. Your low temperatures of 29 tonight. And then tomorrow, a little bit warmer with more sunshine, thank goodness. High temperatures of 51, low of 38. And the rest of the week looking good. Possibly a little rain on Thursday. A little too soon to tell, but the rest of the week looking pretty good. All right, Dan Totten joins us this morning over on <coughs> Jefferson Street. Where you been since when? Oh, goodness. Since uh, 1979. Long time. You been in that same location that long? I have been. It's 1979. Well, <coughs> everybody should know where you are. Yeah. Right. So about how many divorces you figure you've done? <laughs> if you got divorced in Limestone County, they came through you, right? Well, I've done a few. <laughs> I've done a few. I probably am not. I probably hadn't done as many as a lot of lawyers have, but I've done a bunch of them. Do you see that? What is the biggest, <clears throat> excuse me, difference in getting divorced back in the '80s and '90s as it is in today's times? What's one of the biggest changes in that? You know, Jamie, it's really not a lot different. It's it's about the same. It's still nasty, it's nasty. It's still nasty, and uh, it still causes a lot of problems. Yeah, with Children. babies. Yeah. And uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Right. Uh, a lot of people get jilted this time of year. Somebody keeps having to buy them a gift. What's the major <laughs> cause of divorce right, in, in our times and place we're living in? People would tell you that the major cause is infidelity, but I think infidelity is more like a byproduct. Divorce uh, has so many different causes. Basically, it's caused by not letting your wife have her way when you should. Oh, not saying I yes, ma'am enough. Right, yeah. Yes, you did. Not saying yes, ma'am enough. So, you know, most people, they think, well, it is infidelity. And, and of course, the ones I've been involved with, it has been that. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Do you think technology plays a big role in the, these days? Social sure, media? Sure, absolutely. Uh, everybody wants to introduce their spouse's cell phone calls into evidence. Mm -hmm. and, Talk about who they've been talking to that they shouldn't have been talking to and what they've been talking about that they shouldn't be talking about. Okay. I've been through a few of these procedures myself. No. And, you know, you always, your lawyer always tells you, well, keep a record of this, 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 and that. And every time I got to court, that didn't mean diddly squat. Is that still important to do? The judge ain't got time to hear who, who they talked to and did this, this, and this with. Well, if there's a pattern. Basically... What a judge is going to do in a divorce is going to look first to the children. He's going to take, make sure the children are provided for and taken care of. Then as far as the adults are concerned, he's going to f treat it like a partnership that started on the date of the marriage and ended on the day of the separation or the date of the filing of the divorce case. And he's going to divide it as he or she finds uh, equitable. With due deference being given to uh, things like domestic violence and extramarital affairs, but they don't play as much uh, a role now as they used to. This really? Is, this is 2015. Come. It ain't 1985. When someone calls you to come in and meet with you, and you meet with them and they're contemplating divorce, what are some of the things you converse with what them about? What do you tell them? Well, they want to know how much it's going to cost. First and foremost. First and foremost. There is no set fee, though, is it? No, it's an hourly charge, and it's going to cost just exactly what you want it to cost. If you want to call up every 15 minutes and talk about the weather and about deflate gate and things like that, it's going to cost you more. But, and that uh, happens. Oh, absolutely. Because no, you're mad. You oh, absolutely. Now. Yeah, people want to talk about it, especially mm -hmm. ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, they always want to talk about it. But uh, it costs what you want it to cost. Because I know when I was going through one of these procedures, and like I said, I've been through several, you always want to know right now, why can't I get in touch with my lawyer right now? You ain't going to believe what they just did to me. You're not going to believe this fact back in those days. I just got or whatever. <laughs> or they didn't let me pick up my child yeah. today. And there's nothing you can do until you get in court. Well, what I try to tell people is that when you're going to get divorced, you, you're going to get one of two things, Jamie. You're going to get what you agree to take or you're going to get what the judge gives you. Now, a lawyer can't instruct you on what you'll agree to take, but he can tell you the likelihood of what the judge is going to give you. 
and you can go from there. If you want to talk about other things that are collateral, rabbit trails that we'll get on, that's your business. How many times have you told somebody basically what the judge is going to do only for them to say, I'm speaking from a man's point of view mainly, say, no, that's not right, here's what I think we ought to do. Last one I had, <laughs> last one I tried, exactly the same way. Well, I don't care what he does, I want to, my story to be heard. Well, we got it heard. Wow. And they're doing good? Well, it, the, what happened is what I told them was going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cheaper for that person to go to see a counselor and get it all off their chest instead of trying to do it in court? Well, you can't uh, get much marriage counseling from a lawyer, and you sure ain't going to get much from a judge. <laughs> exactly. That, that is excellent advice. So if you're contemplating divorce, DanTottenLaw.com right there. Give Dan a call and make arrangements to see him. Let's change the subject a little bit here and get on this, this gay couple thing. Explain what happened Friday afternoon when that Mobile judge did what she did. What well, does that mean? She, what State she, of Alabama. She is a district court judge, a trial court judge, and she ruled that uh, Alabama's law of man and gay marriage was unconstitutional. Luther Strange then filed a request for a delay in the imposition of her finding to give him an opportunity to file an appeal to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. Mm -hmm. And that was granted, and now I understand this morning he's going to ask for some more time. But uh, Mr. Strange, who is a good man, is trying to put toothpaste back in the tube. That's hard to do already been let out. And in what way is he trying to do that in your opinion? Well, he's trying to get uh, the courts to change their mind in the face of the whole country changing, uh, in court systems uh, across the country changing their position on this. And the matter is in front of the Supreme Court of the United States now at any rate. So we're going to get some direction from the folks at the top and I'm afraid uh, you know what that direction is going to be. Here's a comment of the planet AL.com, not a comment, a written article says, Christian conservative values. In other words, Alabama will fight like hell to preserve an old status quo that courts are over are ruling unconstitutional while an increasing number of states pass laws to remove the governmental barriers that have prevented people who love one another from marrying each other. Then it goes on and says Alabama will lose. It says the American people, including many Alabamans, have decided that gay marriage does not mean that society is coming apart to sin. This was a quote here by somebody that you told me about that I should have a great opinion on. From Martin Luther King said this, mm -hmm. there are the arc, A-R-C, of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Then it goes on to say, the long fight over gay rights now bends toward justice. Says the second reason is because that the law banning gay marriage has been struck down in the last place you would ever expect that to happen, Alabama. Right. Mm -hmm. And it goes on, one of the other articles that we had said, how many gay people do you know, do we know, that are either your children, your relatives, a friend you go, you go, to, go to church with, work with, or a parent of somebody you know, it's, or sibling. Everyone there is no stopping this, is it? Well, let me put it this way. I think that, that parents who are opposed to this, people like Dusty McLemore, are going to be a lot more successful in their arena, the churches, or the home place, uh, than they're going to be in the court because of what you mentioned when the program first started. Uh, gay people have the same inalienable rights that you and I do and a court system is not going to impose their morality and call it the law. Now, if people as a family or as a church or as community leaders uh, in whatever area other than co the court system want to press an agenda, that's their business and they're perfectly uh, their right free to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to talk about uh, how wonderful it is to have a heterosexual marriage and get on a stump and talk about that. But court's not the place. So does that mean, is this, does this open up the door for more lawsuits, say like if Dusty McLemore refuses to perform a gay marriage, he just, he doesn't believe well, it, he doesn't want to do, do it. That. He told me that right. He doesn't want to do it, he doesn't believe in it, and he refuses it. Can and that couple, I wouldn't couple, expect him to do that. Can that no. couple come back and sue him for discrimination? Well, sue for anything. You can sue for anything. The question is, 
Well, can you win? win? Probably not in limestone, can Okay. But in your on the area. professional opinion, gay marriage is going to happen sooner rather than later it's in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it, it's it is the law right now. Mm -hmm. It's been a stay's been put on it to allow an appeal to be filed, but it's the law of Alabama as we sit here and speak. So when will Judge Woodruff, probate judge in Lumpton County, issue? Depends on the state. You've got to wait for the stays though. Once the stays lifted. Okay. And it will happen. Oh yeah. It could be extended, but it will eventually Dan happen. Dan Totten, divorce attorney, criminal defense, he and Lucas down on Dan Totten right there. Jefferson, go by and visit where he's been since 1979. Thank you, sir, Thank for you. your comments this morning. We'll take a break. Be right back with City Council President Jimmy Gill. Y'all hang on.